title fight, I win, I'll be 10-0, and 0, I'm getting, and I was going to get a UFC contract if I won. Great. I'm winning the fight, third round comes, I get knee to my face. I win the third round, between the third and the fourth round, the judges stop it. TKO, doctor stoppage. I broke my medial wall and my orbital floor in my eyes like this. Mm. I get rushed to the hospital, the doctor's like, they took an x-ray of my face and they're like, listen... It's possible you're blind in your eye. Oh, fuck. Because the nerve of my eye was sitting between the fractures. And they could see the bones. And they're like, usually when we see this, you have either lost your vision or partial vision or your eye has real damage. And they're like, the only way we'll know is if the swelling comes down, your eye opens up, and you can see, then great. If not, we can pry it open right now. And I'm like, pry it open. Let's do it. I'm still in my fight shorts. I got hand wraps. I'm covered in blood. My parents are with me bedside. I'm in Atlantic City at a hospital. And they're like, listen, we're going to have to give you a shot of morphine. And my parents are like, he's a recovering heroin addict. And they were like, listen, his eye is so bad. He has to have surgery Monday morning. And he's going to be in the hospital for five days. And we're going to be pumping him full of drugs. And I could see my parents, like, just start crying. Just start crying. And I'm like, wait, like, and the doctor says to me, this is probably your last fight ever. And I said, what are you talking about? I'm like, I'm, I'm going to the UFC. And the doctor looked at me like this mm. and just shook his head. And I was like, my, everything just melted right there. For did, me. did it feel real? Like, did you, oh. were you, yeah. I was like, this is it. Mm. I, fuck, I'm done. Fighting's over. So they're like, all right, we're going to give you the morphine. I'm like, give it. And that fucking warm blanket came over yep. me. And I knew right there. I'm fucked. You mm. feel it going through the eye. Like in the I hospital, was, you feel it going through the IV into your arm you and get through those your body. Pins and needles in your feet. Yeah. Hot and warm. And <sighs> and um, they prod my eye open. It took two doctors one for my lower eyelid, the other one's on my upper eyelid. They finally get it open. And I'm like, I can see. And they're like, all right, great. Now move it in every, you know, this direction, that, you know, every direction. And they're like, all right, like, this is really good news. We don't know how this is possible. God. Uh, but you still have to have surgery. So they put a big plate in my face. It sits like this. It's like an L on, in my eye. Really? Yeah. And I, I broke the medial wall and the orbital floor. Damn. So I come home from surgery. They gave me a script of OxyContin. The real ones. What year is this now? 2015. Mm-hmm. 2015. This is May 2015. Okay. And they gave me the 15 milligram OxyContins, the green ones. Eat them all. <laughs> Sorry, it's and not I stay. Sh- <laughs> the, the, I stay. The baby ones. Yeah, <laughs> I stay clean for six weeks. My eyes swollen shut for like three weeks, and then once it opens up, I have double vision because the nerve and the and the muscles of my eye are so inflamed mm-hmm. that like it's causing double vision. I'm wearing these stupid uh, glasses that are super thick so that it like brings my vision together and I can yeah. see normally. And it was just really miserable. And my parents were like, "All right, we're gonna go to their summer house." Upstate New York, they're like, you're going to be okay for the weekend? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting there, and at the t- and like, so I had given up, like, all hope. I'm super depressed. I'm eating everything. Yeah. I gain, like, 40 pounds. I'm, like, 195 pounds of just fat and bones. Yeah. And I'm super depressed. And I remember sitting there. It's, like, 99 degrees in Queens, New York. I'm in my living room sitting in the dark. Mm. Like no TV on, and all I could hear is the AC like clinking, like clink, clink, clink. Yep. clink. And I and I'm like, fuck, I'm going to get high. I call my dealer. You're by yourself, and you're just like, you yeah. just made the decision. I'm, like, fuck it. I'm going to get high. Yeah. Within ten minutes, I was shooting dope. <sighs> and from then on, I went absolutely fucking nuts until that December. So I went nuts. From that my summer. parents kicked Six me months. out. Six months. Yeah, my parents kicked me out. I'm homeless, panhandling, homeless shelters, hot- motels, What happened with surfing. the girl? The girl's like, fuck She's you. She's been gone for yeah. five years. Won't even, hasn't, I haven't talked to her in like five years. Mm. And so I miss Thanksgiving with my family. Christmas comes. I am doing everything I can to get money. I'm robbing people. I'm robbing, stealing shit. So I rob a drug dealer and I score like 10 grand. So I'm like, this is it. It's Christmas week. I'm alone. I buy a massive amount of heroin, massive amount of cocaine. I go to a motel 
in across the street from the Queensbridge Housing Projects, which is like the largest housing projects in, in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's Christmas Eve. And I'm going nuts. I'm shooting by yourself. By myself. I'm shooting heroin. I'm shooting coke. I'm I'm hallucinating because I've been up for days. I'm I don't know what I think people are following me. I, I think there's cops in the room with me. I'm looking under the door. I'm looking out the peephole. I'm looking out the window. Paranoid as fuck. Yeah. Finally, I shoot. I'm like so high. I'm like, all right, I better come down from this. So I shoot a bunch of heroin and I overdose. Mm. And I like what I think happened is that I crashed into like the desk and I ripped like the lamp and the desk down and like i must have made a bunch of noise because someone had called the cops or the front desk and they called the cops and the cops busted the door down and like narcan me there and they wheel me out and i remember i came to outside it's like three eight three four a.m or something five a.m and i remember christmas it's day. so cold mm -hmm. i'm wearing just jeans no socks no no shirt and it's i'm like on a gurney outside of the hotel and it's like flurrying and like there's Christmas lights in the background and there's like mad cops around me. And I, I remember like looking at my body and I was so like amped up that there was like steam like pouring off of me and they put me in the hot, into the, in the ambulance and I'm with all the cops in the ambulance and I'm like, where's my drugs? And they're like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Like, we're taking God. your drugs. And I'm like, uh, are you, am I going to jail? And they're like, listen, it's Christmas Day. You have a lot of drugs on you, but we don't feel like doing the paperwork and dealing with you. So we're going to, we want to go home. It's oh. Christmas, you know, we want to go home to our families. Oh. We're going to go cut you loose at the hospital. Because we know you're a drug addict. Right. It's not like you're like out here selling drugs. Like, out of the hotel, you know? Yeah. Right. So I'm like, all right. So I they I get to the hospital. I'm so fucking coked out that they hit, they give me a bunch of Valium and Haldol. IV. I pass out. I wake up, like, 12 hours later. Super dope sick. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm like, where's my money? And, like, I feel my money in my pocket. I'm wearing jeans. I got nothing else. I rip the IV out of my arm. Put my hospital gown on. I got hospital socks on. And I walk out the hospital. 